Now there's a couple ways of creating a mask. Uh, the process that we went through here and creating a really base model is to help us in that masking process. But typically, a making a mask in Agisoft w is a very tedious process. You would have to make a mask for each and individual image. Now, Agisoft has some tools to help you with this. So if I select one of these images and double click it, you can see now these icons at the top have changed into mask selection tools that you can come in here and kind of try to select areas or even come in here with select regions. But it's very tedious and, and I never really have enjoyed any of them. And if you do select one or a region with any of these other tools, I usually right click and then go to the bottom and say reset mask. Uh, the best one is the intelligent scissors which is you know you just go around kind of tracing out your object very quickly like this I'm just gonna keep this pretty rough and I'll just do a couple sections here and there you go now I've got this selection and then I come up to the top and I say add selection and then let's see I would right click over it and say invert mask and there you go so that's how you would make a mask typically and you would have to go to each in individual ones and do the same thing very tedious especially if you've got tons and tons of pictures um, so to what we went through was to actually use the model to create the mask so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on this and reset the mask and I'm gonna close out of this image go back to the model and then select this image right click on an image and then I'll say import masks and then from here I'm gonna to go to parameters method and then I'm gonna click this down and there's from alpha from file so if you wanted to use After Effects, if you did like some green screening or anything like that, you could, you know, go and grab some alpha channels that you have in your image. Um, or that you generated in Photoshop or After Effects. It's up to you. Or from background, which is a really cool trick, and maybe I can show that later. But the one I want is from model. So it's actually using the model that we generated. And we want to do an operation where we do not a union, or intersect or difference but a replace just like that and then we want to do it for the selected cameras and there you go so it went in there and applied it now let's double click on this image and there it is it just went in and made the mask from using the model in this perspective or that camera so all these cameras we've got to make masks for so it's this camera right here that's in pink that we just made a mask so now, if hit Control A and select them all, right click, go to Import Masks from Model Replacement and say Selected Cameras, hit OK. And then again, this is going to go through the process, but trust me, this is a drop in the bucket on generating masks. So you spent a little bit of time, you know, cleaning up the model to make this mask. So I'm going to pause it and let it finish it off. We're back. And now you can go to any image, double click it, and there's a mask. Now another way of seeing masks is if right above the images or the little win uh, the window that has all your different images sorted out in a little bit of a library here. There's this little icon right here, show masks. Click on that and you can see the ma all the masks at once and it does a really nice result from that and then click it again to turn it off again then there's also different thumbnails large small and then there's also details so if you wanted to know certain details about each image so it was done by 
Canon 60D, focal length was 35 millimeter, f-stop was 9, ISO was 100. So again, you want to really have a deep uh, depth of field when you make these. But again, you have to have a, uh, you know, your shutter has to be compensated. So I had really long shutter speed. So I was photographing with a tripod to do that. All right, so here we go. And let's go back to medium. And now we've just added all the masks. So this process of generating masks for our model, we need to do that for, that we did for chunk one, we have to do it for chunk two. Follow the same process that we did for chunk one to generate the mask. So rewatch the videos. So yeah, so we have, follow do the exact same settings. And once you've gotten the masks done for both chunks, what we're going to do is we're going to combine both of them into one. So we're going to take cameras from chunk two and combine it into chunk one, and then we'll realign all the photos again, but with masks, and then we'll get a much better result for our final model. So go ahead and do that, and then I'll show you the next step. I wanted to cover one more thing when you're trying to make the model for or the mask for the bottom part of the box. So I've already got the point cloud and the dense cloud already set the region. And now I have to come in here and start cleaning up the bottom of it. And since we really don't need this part of the box, we can actually clear it all out. All we need is a good chunk of the sides and the bottom for our purposes to make that mask. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of come in here and really take a good chunk of this out. So I'm going to change the angle here and then go to the suction tool freeform selection and just kind of come in here and delete that out. So even though we're getting a good chunk of the model out, we really don't need the whole thing. We can get by with a good 60% of it. There we go. So if you're going to go in here and clean this up, This is the best way to do it because so this has already been constructed in chunk one. There we go. Let's bring this up here. There we go. And then from here, we're going to, you know, build that mesh. So build it out. Once that gets built, you got to clean up just a little bit of that mask again, or that model again. Again, using the same techniques as before. Spacebar, I delete. From here, we build that mask one more time. Import masks from model, replace, selected camera, and then we double check it. it. Looks good to me. Oh yeah, look at that. And it 
clips it right there on the bottom. So let's do that for do control A, select them all, import from model replace all selected cameras, and there it goes. So it just really zips along and builds that out. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next part.